Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces. You can see it's a demo that we're playing because at the moment we've got the Steam Game Festival Autumn Edition ongoing. It's going from the 7th to the 13th, so we're still early in the piece. And I figure I'm using my platform to pick through all the sort of stuff that's being showcased. It's almost like a PAX or something like that, except it has to be remote because of, you know, world affairs currently. Um, and I'm just picking out what looks interesting and showcasing it here on the channel. So this looks fascinating. It is a roguelike deck builder with a twist. Jeez, there's a statement that you hear all the time. Um, it looks very much, it's channeling like a color palette and art style, not as polygonal, but, uh, but sort of close to super hot. It also channels it in that it can be, it seems very claustrophobic. So the whole game is like you're in one room you, you, you're a dude and he's punching on with a bunch of other dudes in this tiny space and you're playing like cards to sort of dodge and, and you know, left hook jab, that sort of stuff. It's one of those things that um, it presents so well. So when I saw just the video of it, I had to try it out. So we're going to give it a bit of a go now, I suppose. Daily play. That's not a thing. Enjoying wishlist now. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm enjoying it yet. I don't know if I'm going to wish list it. We'll see. Agent 11. Yes, sir. Continue. Sir. Mate, put your, put your guns down there, mate. Put Des and Troy down. Um, we have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills. Yes. What is all this? Death's Head Biker Gang. Oh, they're locked. Okay, yeah, let's do Section 11 training. Nice to see you back, Agent 11. Thank you, sir. Reporting back to me when you... I'll oh, report back to me when you've completed your training. I will. I will. Oh, shit. You know, I love uh, this sort of UI element. I guess... Yeah, I like it when you blur the line between UI and UX, right? Um. Oh, here we go. Look at him. Look at his sunglasses. That's cool. Fights in tight spaces, a turn-based deck building fighting game, press the thing to continue. Q&E, rotate your view left and right. Right, okay, good. Use uh, the mouse to highlight the cards. Select spinning back fist. Oh yeah, here we go, let's bloody go. Uh, move it to the indicated tile and carry out the action to cancel. Yeah, yeah that's fine, let's go. Boo, let's get back fisted, you prick. Some cards require momentum to play. You can see this indicated in the top right of the card. If the card cannot be played, its momentum cost will be shown red. Seen. I see. Where is my momentum? Is that it over here? One out of three. All right, continue. Current momentum is shown here. Next is the amount of momentum you will start with next turn. Play the focus card to refill momentum. Ah. Okay, so it's like mana. Now your momentum is high and you can play the double jump kick card. Oh yeah, good. That sounds reasonable. See the minimum and maximum range of the attack card. Two to two. Press to continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Use double jump kick card now. Oh, oh, mate, get laid out. If the opponent is pushed out of the fight space, they're knocked out immediately. Oh. Enemies can be pushed over railings or anywhere you see a hazard marker. Okay. Use push. Let's go. Get out of the ring out, mate. See you later. Oh, wow. And he's gone floppy. You'll sometimes be given a warning where the enemy will arrive. Oh, that's good. Yes. Look for this marker. If the tile is blocked at the end of the turn, the enemy will be prevented from arriving until next turn. Oh, that's like, uh, I think Into the Breach did that. Every time you make a successful attack, your combo level will increase. Oh, good. Uh, combo is maintained between turns. Some cards require a specific combo level before they can be played. Yeah, left spin kick. All right. Movement will reduce your combo level by one for each tile of movement. Ah, oh, oh, he's got a gun. Um, use the step card to move in front of the enemy. Step. Here we go. Your combo level is dropped, but you can still attack. Yeah, let's go. He's gonna get shot by his mate. Once an enemy is committed to an attack, they will attack regardless of who has stood in front of them. Nice. You will see uh, a filled ring icon around the current target. Range enemies can attack from any distance. Okay. Finish your turn with enter. Boards. 
Press and hold the Alt button at any time to see the current health of all enemies on the board. All right, let's press that. Okay, I can see that. Pass the cursor over. Okay, yeah. An enemy's info panel will uh, show the order in which they attack on their next turn. Oh, one and two, I see that. Okay, yep. If you see a fist icon on the enemy's info panel, it means they're currently primed to attack on their next turn. Some cards have an alternate movement amount. Use the option play card to move close to the enemies. Cards like Wall Bash can be used only when the target is adjacent to a wall or barrier. Note that some cards like Wall Bash will cause an enemy to face you, so they will attack you if they survive. Oh, okay. Big if. Use Wall Bash on this guy. Yep. Sometimes you'll have to take a hit. Any damage done will be taken from your block before your health. Play the block card now. Block up. Oh man, this is so schmick. It's so good to look at all the design. All right, finish your turn. You're gonna get punched and you get shot in the head. Oh. Know that any leftover block is usually lost at the end of the turn. Okay. Some cards like grapple require you first to select the target. Play the card and then select the enemy. Uh, grapple. Let's grapple this guy. Oh, I have to grapple him. I have to choose where to put him. Ah, now finish the fight with this information that you've learned. Okay. Um, I could use shift. I'm going to wall bash this man. And, and now I'm going to shift. Yeah, look at that. End. All right, um, um, option play, attack for six or move the tiles. All right, hang on, eight and ten. <gasps> I can ring him out, right? Yes. There we go. I thought he had eight or something. My bad. I get it. Impressive stuff. You've clearly still got this. Did you ever have any doubts? The world moves on, Agent 11. New challenges, new threats. I'm just glad you're up to it. Fantastic. All right, let's fight the Death's Head bloody biker gang. After the biker gang wars of the 90s, we noticed, we thought we'd see the last of the Nordic gangs. But they're back, with a network of so-called club houses across Scandinavia. We're seeing a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders. Put a stop to it. With your fists. We're going to the tattoo studio. Alright. Yes, view deck. Show me my deck. Look at this. Oh, cool beans. Alright, okay, alright. Oh yeah, I've got enhancements. I've got dollary dues. I've got a current target. All right, let's go. Tattoo Studio. This game is absolutely rad. Oh, here we go. All right, then. Hammer Fist. Plus one per combo level. Hmm. Maintain range. Quick kick. Emergency move. Wall bash. Oh, ends combo. Oh, that's not going to happen. I can't use step. I'm trapped. No. How much health? Wait, no. 20 health? Is that what they've got? Oh, no. We've got a problem. I don't think I can push any of them back. Oh, here we go. Deal four damage and push. Oh, look, I get little little videos. 
That's sweet. Um, move to one tile in any direction. I'm gonna wall bash this man. <laughs> Emergency move. Move up to two tiles. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. In turn. Alright. This dude we've been obliterating, so that's good. Six damage. Counter. Add six block. Deal six damage to each attacker. Oh, actually does counter, I think. Alright, let's just kick this guy. Nice. Oh, I've got one combo. Oh, I need three for that. Counter. <laughs> yeah, I'll end there. Quick strike, eight damage. Move around a target and gain one momentum. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, oh, he's got full health left. Let's do counter and in turn. Nice. Kick, mate. In turn. A combo finisher, look at this. <laughs> Complete level within six turns. Oh no, okay. New card, oh yes. Now what's this, deal four damage plus one per combo level. Oh, that's cool. Move one tile in any direction. No, no, no. Apply two stun. No, I want this. I want a hammer fist. All right, alleyway or tattoo studio. Rewards. Weakened targets. I don't know. Let's go to the alleyway. Oh, shit. There's a few of them. Okay, um... Right, we can emergency move at the end if we need to. Uh... Right. How much damage do they do? 10 and 8. 10 and 6. I'll lose health there. Nah.
Uh oh. So I can't push him out of the arena there. Because I think it was worth checking. A wall bash end combo. Hammer fist. So good. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh. Can I go past three momentum? Oh, okay, it just replaces the momentum. Very good. <laughs> oh man, I didn't mean for him to get kicked. I knew he was going to get shot. What's that mean? I'm going to get punched into that. Okay. Nice. Get a five combo. Bugger. Heavy strike. Oh, that's cool. Knock down and apply four damage. I want the heavy strike. Let's go. Powder room. Here we go, baby. This game is so cool. How to play is your sworn duty to protect the British ambassador. If you or he is killed, then you lose the game. He is frightened and will not move of his own accord. You'll need to use all the tricks at your disposal to move him around and out of danger. The ambassador will not take damage from your attacks, and you can use this to your advantage. Okay, some enemies have the auto attack ability. Their information panel will show they have an overwatch icon. Yeah, now it's going to get harder. Ability means they will automatically attack the first time a movement or action occurs within their attack range and it includes other enemies. Be careful, even once they have used their auto attack, enemies may still be able to attack normally. Okay. Holy heck. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the auto attack, is that it there? Yeah, I think so. But he's not using it. It's an exclamation mark, isn't it? Yeah. Um.
Let's go ahead and push him. Okay. Um. Dash. So you lose a combo counter when you do that. Okay, oh, they're gonna hit the the dude. Um. Oh, I got can oh, I counted bugger. What if I push you? Nothing. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't do it. I still got two health. Stop spawning people in. Can't punch around people. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud! Oh. Wait, how's it not all over? The ambassadors did. Okay. I'm gonna spot a bother now. Oh, the counter worked out very well, didn't it? Four health left. No. I just got a thirteen. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay, we still pass even though we let the ambassador die. Plus two damage the next turn. Oh, I like that. That's very cool. All right, well, there you go. What an absolute banger of a game. Can we just save out to the main menu? Yeah.
Fights in tight spaces. Like I said, the demo is up on Steam at the moment. If you're curious about playing it yourself, let me know if you found this interesting. If you'd like to see more on the channel, or you know, or if this was never on your radar, it was, certainly wasn't on mine. I didn't hear about it until today, to be honest. So uh, this is pretty cool stuff. All right, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you on the next one.